Oh. Oh my god, that scared me. Come on oh. in. Healing that... potions are a speciality here, should you need any. I see you. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatima Lawang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. I'd be happy to help with the delivery. You've no idea how grateful I am, truly. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. And quests. I don't know if I have enough money for this, but we can try. Oh, oh very nice. Wonderful. Thank you. Mr. Weeks, is it? Albie Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned. Thankfully, with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows. Wind wisps, too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. What kind of tea is this? What? Oh. Hello. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. Would you like to lay down, ma'am? What are we looking for today? I do have enough money. How exciting. I want this one, I think. And you can sell all your extra stock since you're out of... Here? Yeah. If I do R1? Mm -hmm. <gasps> okay, so... I'm gonna sell this, right? So that's better than what you're currently wearing. I know, but I'm not gonna wear that. You can change the appearance, though, right? I don't know. Yeah, I told you. You can change the appearance of everything you wear. Oh. So I should... So anything with a down red yes. arrow I can sell. Exactly. No, it's still in business with you. Too comfy there? Okay. Alright. Which one did you get? Uh, I don't think they fly any differently, but I think I got the moon trimmer. This one? Okay, I want this one. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancement. Go on. Ha! Ah, knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. 
I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct the broom flights and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it More happens, cycles. another mm -hmm. Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom Thank behaved. You, I could complete work on it's my Gemini first upgrade. Right? What say? That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm Shall wrong, the, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Wow, Complete so the tasks many. I've given you and then meet me in my classroom to learn Defender, the severing charm. It's typically used to cut an object, but can be a powerful weapon when needed. Unidentified hand item. You can't wear it until you discover what it is in the... Oh the room of requirements. That's right. So I can change the appearance of this, you're yeah. saying? Yeah. So you'll want to pick the one with the highest defense, which is that one. And then if you go back, you can hover over facewear, mm -hmm. and then it says change appearance down there. Then you can make it whatever you want, including nothing at all. Oh, excellent. Wow. Amazing. I like this. It's very cute. Very adventure chic. I am cute. Ah! That is too cool. Adorable. Yeah, and you <laughs> should go back and sell the rest of that gear that you're not wearing. Okay. Where can I go? Same guy? Yeah. Hello. What are we looking for today? Oh, I see. Venomous Tentacula. Dogweed and Deathcap. I'm assuming that's it in Hogsmeade. Uh huh. So this says it won't help. My field guide won't help me, but it, the map will still show me where to go, or what? No. No, uh, you'll have to find it on your own. I can tell you where it is, but... I mean, I'm really bad at finding things, so... Yeah. This is the thing I don't like about open world games. You're gonna go up that way, and then you're gonna take a... Oh, there's a field guide. Where? Revelio. Revelio. Field page. I apologize. And then you're gonna go up to the right. Field guide page. I was like, wait, field guide where? This right. way? Yeah. Woohoo! Yep, right up here to the right. There it is. Wow, I would have never found this on my own. I know, it's way out of the way. I actually think you haven't talked to the person who teaches you that yet. Okay, then shut up. Sorry. <laughs> You're a brash and tear troll. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. Whew. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a tizzy. I was just ah, scolding some Scottish. of the plants for spitting <laughs> and nipping. I suppose it's my own fault for putting more than four to a tray. 